Welcome back to another Rack Baby regional qualifier today. Found out that it closed for the qualifier next month to go to Vegas in May, but uh, this is for the regionals in October. I'm getting a head start on it, which is good. I had like four chances, four or five chances to go to Vegas this May, but I lost. I lost every round. <laughs> I'm still going to Vegas though. I'm gonna play in the mini tournaments. So let's just see how I do here. See if we can get in October, the regional. Win there and go to Vegas whenever that is. For my first match, I actually have the big dog in the room. Flannel shirt guy right there. So I ain't scared, I ain't backing down, Daryl. The silver lining is if I lose, I can go home. <laughs> All right, here we go. A new one from yours truly. Another rack. All right, we got the lag. This is my buddy, Daryl. Daryl is a skill level five, sort of. You will agree with me by the end of this. And uh, this is the regional qualifier, like I said, in the vlog style video before this, before the match starts. All right, he gets two kicks on the 12 to go in the side, so. Hit stripes on the break, and I'm going to turn my phone over because everybody's hitting your boy up on this Monday morning. 11 goes in nice and smoothly. Now he's going to go for the 10. Bounce up for shape on 13. Probably could have used a little bit more. He actually could have hit it even harder and stop shot on the 15 in the corner and then the 13, but hey. What am I? Who am I? He gets bumped by Tracy over there on the other table. Uh, you saw a stick move like that. Everybody's trying to get their shot at the regional tournament to go to Vegas. All right, he misses the 13. He actually probably could have caromed off the 14. Uh, actually, no. That 14 is up a little bit more. I do apologize. All right, I grease the four in the side. I'm not behind, um, my audio is not behind, I'm behind commentating this match. All right, now hit that one in, the one in the side, bring it down. Um, I was gonna do bottom on the seven here and bring it back, but I decided to change it up right there, you see. Now my cue tip is towards the top end of the cue ball so that after contact, It'll do just that. Now, I should have hit it a little harder, but this is makeable. It's a little, little, little more difficult, but this is makeable. I think I'm putting just a little outside on that for whatever reason to kind of throw it over a little bit more. Some shape on the six. I cannot make it, so I decide to just take that pocket. When we leave our ball right there, Blocking the pocket, we we often say, take the pocket. Daryl's gonna take it back after the successful hit on the 15. He's gonna take it back with the 13 and at top to prevent me from having a clear shot at that cluster up there, the five and the two. So he's forcing me to kick at it. And I put running English on there and I should not have because it, it took the cue ball into the eight instead of the five. Combo, 14 to 13 here. Daryl's playing good, great shape on the nine. Uh, the natural tangent line, that's where the cue ball is gonna go after hitting the nine ball, the con the object ball. It's gonna go to the, to the right. So it's gonna go towards the eight ball. It's gonna give him a better shot at the 14. I mean, it's it's pretty natural. All he has to do is, is make that ball. Ideally, that's what you wanna do with every shot. You wanna make the ball, and let and leave the cue ball in a place where you can make the next ball. That's the game of pool. Um, you know, and this shot here, he had to add some outside English so that he wouldn't scratch. Now you have to play a lot of pool to even know that that was a scratch shot. And even more pool to know to put right English on it, top right English on it to prevent that. Sinks the eight ball, game one goes to Daryl. Easy peasy. I might have shot, what, two times that game. Good break, five inside. 
He slams his hand down because I think he wanted the cue ball probably up a little bit higher. Definitely wanted it higher. All right, he overcuts the one, a rare event there. And uh, you see if he would have made it, he had perfect shape. He had a perfect shot on the six or the seven up there where I am. Leaves me a tough cut on the 14. Boom. But your boy was filling himself a little bit, greased it in the uh, bottom left corner. Okay shape on the 10. Let's put that one in the same corner. Using the rail a little bit to get it in there. Um, I wanted to draw this one back into these two balls right here on the right side. Ah, oh, but as you can see, almost scratched, and I, I just didn't, I didn't execute that correctly. I really didn't need to do that. I could have, I could have done a lot of other things. <laughs> Here, I see, I'm so consumed with breaking out this, this 14 and 15. And I try to hit this nine in a way to bring the cue ball back and you'll see what happens. See, I wanted the cue to, to come and break that up. I got lucky with the kiss on the 11 up there, um, but that wasn't the way I wanted it to go. And here, I do something even more foolish. I hit the 15 first to try to hit the 14 in the side, to try to move the, f I was so um, obsessed with breaking out those balls. It's just terrible decision-making on my part. Six ball goes in that top corner. He's got the four, that looks black, but it's actually purple. He's got the four in the corner. It's gonna come off two rails, going one, two, three for shape on the three. Three in that same corner. Now he's gonna put uh, left English on the cue ball. We're just gonna throw the ball, watch this. Boom, the ball should have went to, the, to our left, but it went to our right. Oops, because the way he hit the cue ball. So a lot of you players are, um, you know, a lot, a lot of you are novice players. Uh, true beginners, you know, maybe just you play at the bar with the house sticks You don't realize that hitting the cue ball see that Put top on that Naturally, it was gonna end up there. That was a beautiful shot Daryl and I talked about that after the fact because that was amazing um, He put low on the cue there to get it to do that so it it matters where you hit that cue ball That's that's like that's like most of the game you know you think hitting balls in the holes is the game but you're not going to win unless you put that cue ball where it needs to go for the next shot or the next three shots or for all the other shots all right so that's that was another game uh, i think it's two to oh um, I don't think I hit the ball much on that last game. Anyway, he hits a stripe in off the break. Overcuts the 11. Sets me up for the one in the side. This is a dicey shot, for me at least. I tend to overcut it. It's really hard to see that angle. Um, but I, I overcut it so much. So he goes for safety here, I do believe. I don't think he was trying to make anything. Gives me the three up here in the top corner. Makeable, but difficult. So you can play a safety shot and leave a shot for the other opponent, but just make it a more difficult shot. Which, you see, his safety shot worked. Smacks in the... Uh, 14, I think that was, or 12. Gives himself shape on the 10. Shape meaning position on the 10. We say shape a lot, guys that play a lot, so. This is a defensive shot for me, a safety. Safety and defense are the same thing. I'm playing safe, I'm not trying to make a ball. But I, I needed to hit it just above that seven there 
Um, but I gave him a shot at the 11. He kicks or he banks the 11 and combos. <laughs> I don't know if you meant to do that, Daryl, but that was incredible. Incredible. That was incredible to me because it looked like that nine was going to hit the 11 and it didn't. That nine went cleanly into the corner. Another incredible shot. I don't know if the rolls are just going this guy's way. This guy. My buddy, Daryl. He's this guy right now. When I'm when I'm playing you, you're this guy. I ain't calling you by name. You're the guy I'm trying to beat. <laughs> Everything's working out. This is elite. I remember editing this. I remember seeing this real time. And for him to draw the ball between the four and the eight was just, that was just elite. This guy has the juice right now. Three games. Three the zip, game four, he's making it look easy. He's making me look like a freaking two, skill level two. And he's making himself look like a skill level seven. So y'all do the math here. No excuses, no excuses. All right, I chose stripes and I tried to combo that in softly and I hit it too soft. And because the table was open, Daryl took stripes. Because Stripes was the better ball to take. Here we go, a little outside English maybe, a little top. I don't know if he hit that too hard. Because if he didn't hit it so hard, he could have had the 11 here. Yeah, he probably wanted to hit the 11 next. I'm not sure though, you never know with players like this. Everybody has their own strategy, their own outs. They see the table differently. And that's cool. That's the good thing about pool, too. You play your game. Beautiful cut. I mean, <laughs> he doesn't leave himself great position here for the 14. Or is that the 12? 14 is uh, green. That is the 12. But he greases it in there anyway. He's got position on the 15 in the corner. And you'll see after hitting the 15, you, you can tell where the cue ball is going to go. It's going to hit above the one there. One, two, three rails, depending on how hard he hits it. One, two, misses the shot. Three rails, great shape or position on the 11. What is my shot? I see what I can do here. I mean, this is fairly easy here. Uh, horrible decision to, to combo, or I didn't hit that combo like I should have. It just wasn't clean. But I'll pot a few balls in this sequence. I want to um, stun this because I want to stay in line with the four right there. I didn't want to go past the four or anything like that. Although I could have. In hindsight, I could have played the five right here. Huh. I just saw that. Four goes good, seven here. I uh, have options, but I'm gonna over hit this. Too much top English, top spin, caused the cue ball to come here where I really wanted it to be up a little further so that I would have come above the two. Instead, I run into it, forcing a very low percentage shot, rail shot on the two. It's got a long way to go up that rail, straight. I was close, but man. Being close is the difference in winning and losing in this game. He hits his 11 in, but he leaves himself bad, which is a rare thing. Um, he's got a kick at the 15, watch this. Boom, this, this thing almost went in. Had it gone in, look at the cue ball in the eight. Easy shot on the corner. So he gives me a chance here. Um, I know I need it to hit low right on the cue. I'm low, but I'm not right enough to bring the uh, cue ball down below the side pockets. I stayed above the side pockets. And I had terrible speed. Everything about that shot was, was off. I made it, but man, I could have played safe and let and 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 figured out how to um, keep him from hitting the the next two balls. 
I decided to play safe here because I felt like that was all I had, and I didn't even hit the rail. I didn't even... You, you got to hit a rail after contact with the object ball. Something has to hit a rail, and I give him ball in hand. And this is, this is the game. This is the game. This was game four. He only needed four. Our race was a uh, 4-4 race. Whoever wins four wins the match. And uh, Yeah. There you have it. I made some costly mistakes, and he had just some incredible gameplay. Man, pleasure playing you, Daryl. Good luck. He actually won the entire board, so he's going to regionals. Uh, good luck there, buddy. And I finished the video out in the vlog style. Yeah, that's it, boys and girls. was learned with this match but uh, oh practice more <laughs> that's it you gotta practice more Mikey see y'all later <laughs>